All right, this video I'm going to speak about, you know, my opinion on the difference between a street fighter and a martial artist. Um, obviously, in my, you know, in my view, the martial artist has a spiritual development that the fighter lacks. I think that's a very obvious point. But I want to focus more on the combative element. Um, the athletic element, the physical fitness one, you know, the street fighter may or may not have the fitness. The martial artist is supposed to have the fitness. But I want to mainly comment on the combative aspect. To me, the martial artist is the individual who studies street combat scientifically. Like, all ranges, unarmed, armed, whatever. But there might be a certain specialty that he favors, which might be unarmed combat no rules on the streets and I feel that that's what Bruce Lee was focusing on and to me Mar Bruce Lee was the, a martial artist he was scientifically studying street combat um, I'm reading through the Tao Te Ching recently you know going back to it after probably over 15 years and he mentions the word fighter a lot and boxer and um, but you know, certain things, you know, change through time. And the thing about it, his, his teachings are just permanent. He can't be resurrected and then make changes to his past statements. They're just permanently there for you to analyze and interpret and learn from. But... Certain terminologies I would use differently rather than saying fighter, I'd say martial artist. Um, but to me, he was a martial artist, he was representing martial arts. Now, a fighter, a street fighter to me is somebody who doesn't really sign, he doesn't scientifically study street combat, he just he just en engages in street combat, but he doesn't scientifically study it, you know. Um, and that's the major difference when it comes to the street combat. They both are not bound by rules. The street fighter has no rules, and neither does a martial artist when it comes to fighting. But the main difference is the scientific study, you know, the intelligent aspect, you know, where, he, you know, he puts a lot of time in study and conducts experiment, experimentations into approving upon his growth you know it's like a very serious study but the street fighters is somebody who just engages in street fights um, and doesn't really study the arts you know the, the way a martial artist would you know but clearly there are diff you know you know there's the freedom of no rules now, when you bring in the cage fighter, he's bound by the rules within the cage, and that's the difference between the cage fighter. He's not in the category of the street fighter or the martial artist whom are not bound by rules. Um, but the martial artist, because he's guided by the spiritual, um, the legal, the laws may be, you know, may affect his expression because there is a sense of morality and eth ethics and, you know, doing good with what he knows, opposed to the street fighter who may not be bound by any ethics or morals or any legal code. And it could just be straight, violent behavior. So that's another aspect as well. But that's diving deeper into the spiritual. But I think that that's, you know, a good framework to define the differences. And I think people should think about it, you know, for themselves. You know, what does it mean to be a fighter? What does it mean to be a street fighter? What does it mean to be a cage fighter? What does it mean to be a martial artist? What does it mean to be a boxer, a wrestler, a taekwondo fighter, 
karate fighter. I think there's some time that should be put into thinking about these these topics in which to more accurately define what we do, you know, whereas truth cannot really be defined so precisely, so accurately, but we should at least develop enough intelligence in which if we are to use words and labels that we should be more exact with what we're trying to communicate to the public. You know, um, because the, this is the world that we live in, you know, there's labels being used for everything. And the more accurate that we are with the labels that we do use, um, you know, the less that we contribute towards corruption. And, you know, I think it, it just requires a lot of education and self-awareness and just growth, maturity, in which to you know more accurately convey you know you know to the people you know uh, what we choose to represent you know and based on my own definitions through my experiences. I want to represent the martial arts. I don't want to represent being a street fighter. I clearly don't want to represent being a cage fighter. And I don't want to represent any other styles out there that are not in accordance to the truth that I see. You know, and that's what I want to do. You know, I want to represent something that very few people out there choose to represent. You know, most everybody has chosen to become fighters. And there are street fighters out there. And there are gang members. And there are people that are in the mafia. Um, there are, you know, all sorts of people representing which, what they wish to represent. You know, uh, but to me, being a martial artist is something more specific. And you shouldn't call a street fighter, a martial artist, you shouldn't call a cage fighter a martial artist, you shouldn't call any type of sport fighter a martial artist, you couldn't, shouldn't call a wrestler a martial artist, a boxer a martial artist, a football player a martial artist, an actor a martial artist. To me, being a martial artist is something more, you know, definitive, something more direct and could be more precisely defined in which to separate, um, you know, separate a certain group of people that choose to represent something from another group of people that, that are clearly representing something different. You know, I, I do not agree to having all these labels within this world that we live in you know I didn't create the dictionary you know and I didn't create language but we live in this world that's where they use language as symbols for communication and as we grow as we mature we should better, we should make better use of these symbols in which to come up just a little bit more closer to the truth. You know, it's not easy to express truth with labels, but the wiser that we become, the closer we'll get to the truth the use of labels so I, I I would make this type of video to to get people to self analyze you know their use of these labels especially when it comes to the martial arts